If there is a designated point at which return becomes of no return, so far as how far I am always beyond it. We sit in the rain of your hangover and I tell you the story about my dead aunt who spent her 16th year digging a giant hole in the field behind her house and never said why. Anna, I love you. I love you in the jittering shade of a historic windmill. I love you standing in the water, wearing the river like an invisible pair of shoes. I love you here at the beginning of your only life and almost gone, getting high on your porch, light drifting between us like ghost sequins. I've always never felt this way about anyone, but the way in which I've never felt about you is a way of never feeling so new it's somehow old, like a cave painting of a fax machine or falling asleep in the attic of a spaceship. You make me want to think of you in a sentence with me in it. You make me want to find a collapsed mine shaft I can call your name in while searching for you. You make me want to tell you what you make me want, but what can I even say to you, riding a desk chair through the afternoon like a patron saint of remainders office furniture. I don't know what it means to walk each night into a field alone and dig until you are standing in a hole so deep you cannot be seen above ground. I don't know what it means to fall asleep on your porch and wake with an illustrated guide to Planet of the Apes open in my hands. I don't know what it means to wake each morning and love you and say nothing, as if nothing was honesty's default, or maybe just a way for me to avoid the stupid things I need to tell you, like looking at you is like looking at a beautiful person far away through a telescope that makes you seem the size you almost are, which is something I mean but don't understand like the new hieroglyphics of songbirds, or how the world in which I'm saying this to you is already receding. That looking at you is like looking backwards out the window of a slow-moving helicopter into the 19th century cornfield of your face, which my historical inaccuracy has suddenly emptied of birds You make my life feel the size of itself. You make my life a burning craft on some distant and unintended hillside. Anna, you are the pale green arm of the Statue of Liberty, reaching up through miles of sand.